first guest tonight has hundreds of jobs. If anything were to happen to him, unemployment in this country would triple. He is host of most everything, including a talk show called Steve on Watch on Facebook Watch. Please say hello to Steve Harvey. Hi, Steve. Yeah. Jimmy, how Good you doing, you. buddy? How you doing? Ah, it's been a minute, man. Are you at home right now? Well, yeah. Everybody's at home. <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm at home, man. Uh, <laughs> I have a man cave, and you know, because you know the pandemic, I got to do my radio show from home right. now. So right, I'm guessing uh, your man cave is a man shun is probably what it is, right? I ain't now. <laughs> now it's the it's the smallest building I own. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that you dress up even when you're in your house. I appreciate it. I mean, that's a thing. Come on, man. I'm, I'm coming to see Jimmy. Thank you. Why would I, I come on late yeah, night yeah, and, you, and not pimp it out? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> do you dress casually uh, around the house? Like, are you wearing sweatpants, or is that not something you even do? Oh, yeah, man. During the pandemic, this is the most... The most... I've actually bought stuff that I've never, ever had. Like, I have... Puma and Nike and Under Armour. And I actually wear sweats. I got sneakers now. Oh, you never had that before? I had them. You know, I didn't really, wasn't that serious about staying in shape. You know, I just figured just make a lot of money and don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> because maybe this opens up a new Steve Harvey athletic wear, lounge wear, the kind of stuff that we wouldn't typically see from you. I tell you, man, I am getting into some age management stuff because, you know, you get older, man, you start looking at stuff a little bit differently. You know, pay yeah. attention to come on. I got my vaccine shot. Oh, oh you did? Good, good. Yeah. And let me tell you what I had to do, Jimmy. I had to go down. I did it at a pharmacy. Now, oh. I haven't been to a pharmacy in years. <laughs> and I, I sat in a fold-away chair in the aisle with, like, uh, Depends, and had a, the the, uh, the portable toilet, you know, the, for people that need to scoot around and use the bathroom. And I sat there. It, it was the most regular, humbling moment I had. Because I couldn't get a vaccine. Like, you know, they don't have, like, a vaccine for famous people. You just <laughs> right, got to go yeah. get your ass in line with everybody else. So I'm glad you got nice. it. I am glad you got it. Are you, are you looking for... Will you go right out? on the road and all that stuff once you're you're fully vaccinated? Uh-uh. No. You'll Not stay in. Yeah, I don't give a damn, because you, they, everybody, nobody else vaccinated. You know, right. Trump made sure of that, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you have, I know you work a lot. Do you have hobbies? Do you have, like, frivolous things that you do? Have you picked up anything during this lockdown? Are you whittling? You know, or? man, I'm just real simple, man. I, I got a little putting area in my backyard where I can putt and chip and, uh -huh. you know, and cigars. That's it. That's all I got time for, man. I can't do nothing else. Do you like working from home? Well, you know, no. No. <laughs> you know, because, I mean, you know, I, I used to could get out of gigs, you know, because all I had to say was, hey, I'm tied up, or you got to fly me in here and all this here. And I usually could run people off with the price. But now, Zoom is free. Yeah. And so, you know, you can't shake them. And you say, well, I'm not available then. And they go, well, when are you available? And I said, early morning at 6. And then here they come. They'll tape it. Yeah, right. And you got to Zoom from your house. And I got... And one of my sons is living with us because he's stupid. He bought a house I told him not to buy. <laughs> and now it's got to get fixed up, right? So he's been uh, repairing the house. And it was supposed to be ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> He's still here. <laughs> Did he say he got which Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, man, he got oh. four kids. Oh, man. boy. And I know how you feel about that. That's, um... You know, I love my grandkids, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't... They come to my office too much. <laughs> oh, they come and in so, one, while you're working, And huh? so when I'm on the Zoom, here come the grandkids. Like, one of my grandkids came in the other day and said, Papa, Papa, and I was trying to go, shh. I was in this big meeting with a lot of, like, really well-to-do people. I went, shh, shh. And my little grandson looked in the camera and said, Papa, who are all the white people? <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, he's from an, you know, my, you know, my son's wife's 
parents are one of the parents are white, so he knows them when he sees them. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want him to announce it at the damn Zoom call. Like we ain't got nothing to do with white people around here. That's what <laughs> you um I wanted to ask you about well, how many jobs do you have now? I actually counted them up. Besides the books and the clothing and all that stuff, right now you're currently working on and add any if I've missed them. The Facebook show, Steve on Watch, your daily radio show, Family Feud and Syndication, Celebrity Family Feud on ABC, and Family Feud Africa, which is Family Feud in Africa. How right. did that happen? Well, I cut a deal with uh, Fremantle, who's some great partners, and I told them I wanted to do take Family Feud to Africa, and everybody advised me against it. But I told him it'll really work, and Family Feud believed me. And so I bought the international rights to Family Feud. And I took the show and produced it myself in Africa. And man, oh man, I was right, because I bought the rights to Ghana, and I bought the rights to South Africa. And Family Feud is the number one show in both countries. Had they, wow, had they ever had any version of the Family Feud there? Is this a brand no. new game to them? Yeah, brand new game. And you know, and no one goes to Africa to do TV, you know. Right. But for me, I, I knew better. Well, we have a clip of, uh, I, I'd like to ask you about this. Let's play the clip from Family okay. Feud Africa. Name the worst thing that could happen at a wedding. There is no pasta. Mm. Yeah. The pasta is not there. <laughs> I just told y'all, look, at a wedding, you don't have food at the wedding. There's no food at the wedding. Pasta. How do I put this? Preacher. The like preacher. a preacher. Oh, the preacher. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, Jimmy. <laughs> The thing in Africa is, I have the accent. <laughs> right. So when this guy said, there is no pasta, <laughs> I got pissed, because I said, I done told y'all's ass, ain't no food at the wedding. <laughs> the food is at the reception. So if you ain't got no pasta at the wedding, Ed, the wedding can still go on. Boy, he was, and it's, it's a lot of moments like that, man. Because... I like the idea that, that's a very American move to be laughing at the way they're pronouncing things in their country, right? Man, <laughs> and, and, and I'm, I'm the fish out of water, man. I mean, right. they have food over there I've never heard of, and the names, oh my God, you know I'm horrible with names, right? Now, you can imagine, most of these names don't even fit on the name card. <laughs> Will you expand the Family Feud and do it in other countries? Like a Family Feud North Korea, for instance, would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Dennis Rodman can go over there. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll send Dennis. Yeah. He'll yeah, be your emissary a, on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Harvey is with us. The show Steve on Watch is on Facebook Watch. We'll be right back. We are back with Steve Harvey. Steve, can I, I just want, you and I had a conversation at one time, and I said, wow, you're working so hard. Why are you working so hard? And you said something to the effect of, I just want to work for five years, do a lot of things, hopefully make a lot of money, and then that's it. Then I'm done. That was yeah. about 11 or 12 years ago. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Well, I got seven damn kids. <laughs> and now I have seven grandkids. <laughs> I actually now, Jimmy, see no end to this. Hey, there is no end. No, nah, oh, I don't see it. Man. It's they exponential. Keep, <laughs> yeah, they keep making kids and they keep needing houses, and then they got to come to somebody for the money, and here I am. Yeah. So, have you thought about know, moving man. into a tiny little house so nobody can live with you? You know, I used to live in a car, Jimmy. I lived in a car for three years at one point in my life, right? Yeah. My aspiration has never been to live in a tiny home. I don't get <laughs> to go out and get in all these tiny homes. I had them on my show one time. I had the makers of tiny homes. And boy, were they pissed at me. <laughs> I, there's no way I want to watch TV and be able to cook and flush a toilet with my foot all at the same time. So, right. no. Yeah. I need a big house, man. I don't blame you. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people ask you about your daughter, Lori, is now dating People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, which, in a way, well, makes you well, sex... I don't know. It, it makes you sexiest in-law alive, possibly? Well, first of all, let's be clear about something. Yes. He is a nice guy. Yes. He is not 
the sexiest man alive to me. Oh, down to you. <laughs> At all. I ain't found who, nothing. Who but is the a, sexiest man alive to you? Me. <laughs> <laughs> all these people I'm paying for? Hell, if that ain't sexy, what is? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been attractive. I knew that. That's why I had to come up with these damn jokes. But this kid is, uh, I, I like him, man. Um, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, he's a good kid. I think, you're, yeah, I think you're fortunate to have him dating your daughter. He did get a lot of attention on Valentine's Day. I'm sure you're aware that he rented out, like, the whole aquarium or something for your daughter. Yeah, well, good luck, homie, because, you know, Valentine's come every year. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know if you know how this works or not, but I don't know how you gonna top that. But, uh -huh. but good luck, partner. I mean, it was, it was really nice what he did. You know, I'm happy for him. He's a great guy. I met his father and everything, but uh, uh, that was a lot. That was a lot. I don't know where he's going from from here. So hopefully, you know, maybe he'll make Creed four, five, and six. Do you, <laughs> do you think it's a good idea for someone who's dating one of your daughters to first read your relationship books? I think it's better if my daughters would read the damn book. <laughs> you know, that, that would be the smarter move, you know. Uh, look, man, you know, when your kids grow up, you know, look, man, they can make decisions on their own. I just, uh, I'm just happy that I can at least approve of one. And, and, you, know, <laughs> you didn't approve of the previous suitors? Nothing ever. <laughs> ever. Pure hatred. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I understand. You, um, you have, you've been married a really long time. I know that. Have you done anything, like, spectacular for your wife? Anything, like, really hey, over man. the top? I mean, really, man, I lay my girl out, you know, because uh, she changed my life, man. Marjorie is, like, special. So for last year around her birthday, uh, we were in the UAE, and we were in Dubai. So I rented out this place called The Frame. It's a building, the okay. entire building. Oh. I rented out this building called The Frame, and it's built just like a picture frame. And on the top, it's like a museum in below, but you just catch these elevators all the way up to the top. Oh my God, we're seeing a picture of it now. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it. And the that's top, real. The top, yeah, the top bar is the only place you can go. And I rented all of that out, and the floor is opaque. And when you step on each panel of the floor, it becomes clear, and you end up looking straight down. I, I peed on the first square. <laughs> nobody told me that when you stepped on the square, it turned clear. I thought my ass was gone. <laughs> I stepped on that square, but what I did was, I, they had a bunch of screens I had them put up in the place, and I put a lot of pictures of me and Marjorie over the years of our vacations and everything, big 12-foot high pictures, and I had the whole place rented out. I had a chef bought in. I had a table in the middle of that space, and we have had our favorite song, Adore by Prince, playing, and all the pictures kept popping up, and she cried and cried and wouldn't stop crying. I sat her down and had dinner at the top of the frame, so Michael wow. B. Jordan, good luck, homie. <laughs> Steve, how is your show, uh, Steve on Watch, how is this different from your previous talk show? Hey, you know something, man? I'm, I'm really glad I went that direction. You know, look, uh, when, when they uh, canceled the show, you know, I guess they thought that would, I'd ride off somewhere, but God don't ever do me like that. So <laughs> I showed up bigger and better. I, I do a uh, show every day. It's clips. And it's uh, all just the favorite things I've ever wanted to do, which is human interest stories and uh, and the Ask Steve segment. And I just do it. And uh, this year, this past year, I had to do it in my uh, I, my other house. We have two homes in Atlanta. I saw I used the other house as a studio and converted it into a studio. And so we, we did the show there, man. It was really, really turned out to be... Uh, I'm only number two behind clips in all of Facebook. So oh, wow. It's a really hugely successful show. Yeah, I hear this Facebook is really something special. I'm thinking about getting on it myself. Oh, you're going to do it. <laughs> you, 
you find out how much you how much, how long you work. Well, let's not <laughs> say that on ABC. They're really good to me. <laughs> well, Steve, uh, I always love having you on. It's great to see you. Thanks for being with us. Steve on Watch comes back with new episodes on Facebook Watch later this year. Steve Harvey, everybody. We'll be back. I love you, Jimmy. With Thanks, Michael man. Pena. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.